Today we're going to learn about how Easter is celebrated in the United States and Australia. We will hear Tom and Sarah's conversation as they talk about their plans for Easter this year. And with a point of view story, you will learn grammar in context without memorizing any boring rules. Hi, I'm Georgiana. Thanks for joining me for another episode of the podcast. My mission is to help you improve your fluency. And if you want to help me, please share the podcast. That would mean a lot. Thanks. Remember that you can get the text of this episode on my website, speakenglishpodcast.com. Okay, let's start. Tom from the United States and Sarah from Australia were catching up on a video call before Easter holiday. As they started chatting, they quickly realized they had different traditions and plans for celebrating the holiday. So let's listen to their conversation. Hey Sarah, Happy Easter! Happy Easter to you too, Tom! I hope you're doing well. Yes, I'm doing great. So what are your plans for Easter this year? I plan to attend church and celebrate Easter with my family. We usually have a big Easter dinner and spend time together. That sounds lovely. I'm also planning to celebrate Easter with my family. We usually have an Easter egg hunt and decorate Easter eggs. Oh, that's a great tradition. We also decorate Easter eggs, but don't have an egg hunt. That's interesting. Every family has their own traditions. Definitely. What other traditions do you have for Easter? We usually go to church and have a big Easter brunch. We also exchange Easter baskets filled with candy and small gifts. That sounds like so much fun. We don't exchange Easter baskets, but give each other Easter cards. That's sweet. Do you have any special Easter foods that you eat? Yes, we usually have ham, deviled eggs, and hot cross buns. That sounds delicious. My family has roasted lamb, mashed potatoes, and asparagus. That sounds amazing. It's interesting to see how different cultures celebrate the same holiday. Yes, I agree. Speaking of cultures, I heard Easter is celebrated differently in Australia. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. In Australia, Easter is also a Christian holiday that celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ. However, since it's celebrated in the fall season there, it's more of a harvest festival. We also have a lot of outdoor activities like camping and hiking. That's so cool! I didn't know Easter was celebrated as a harvest festival in Australia. Do you have any special Easter foods that you eat? Yes. We have hot cross buns and chocolate eggs, just like in the U.S. But we also have meat pies, seafood, and others. That sounds amazing. I'll have to try them sometime. Definitely. Maybe we can exchange some Easter foods and try each other's traditions. That's a great idea, Sarah. Okay, I'll see you later. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! 
Now let's practice with a point of view lesson. I will tell you the same story twice. The second time, I will change the verb tense. So make sure to focus on the changes. You can find these techniques fully implemented in my premium courses. Check out speakenglishpodcast.com slash courses. Okay, let's start. Tom was excited to visit his friend Sarah in Kansas for Easter to experience the American culture and traditions. Upon arriving, Sarah took him on a city tour, shopping, to church, and for Easter brunch. Suddenly, a funnel-shaped cloud appeared in the sky, and they knew it was a tornado. Quickly, they made their way to Sarah's house, but before they reached the entrance, a powerful gust of wind lifted them up and swirled them around. To their amazement, they found themselves in a strange and unfamiliar place that looked like something out of a fairy tale. They had been transported to Oz. Despite being in a completely new and unexpected place, they found a way of celebrating Easter. In a nearby field, they started an Easter egg hunt, using brightly colored eggs scattered across the ground. As they sat down on the grass, Sarah explained to Tom the true meaning of Easter, emphasizing the sacrifice Jesus made for us and the hope of everlasting life that comes through His resurrection. After a while, the tornado passed, and they were transported back to Kansas. They returned to Sarah's house, grateful for the unforgettable Easter memories they had made. Great! Let's listen to the same story one more time from Tom's point of view, in the present tense. Hi, I'm Tom, and I'm excited to visit my friend Sarah for Easter. She lives in Kansas, and I want to experience the American culture and traditions. When I arrive, Sarah takes me on a city tour, shopping, to church, and for Easter brunch. Suddenly, a funnel-shaped cloud appears in the sky, and we know it's a tornado. We quickly make our way to Sarah's house, but before we reach the entrance, a powerful gust of wind lifts us up and swirls us around. To our amazement, we find ourselves in a strange and unfamiliar place that looks like something out of a fairy tale. It looks like we've been transported to Oz. Despite being in a completely new and unexpected place, we find a nearby field and start an Easter egg hunt using brightly colored eggs scattered across the ground. As we sit down on the grass, Sarah explains to me the true meaning of Easter, emphasizing the sacrifice Jesus made for us and the hope of everlasting life that comes through His resurrection. After a while, the tornado passes and we're transported back to Kansas. While we return to Sarah's house, we're grateful for the unforgettable Easter memories we've made. Okay, 
That's the end of this short exercise. Remember that you can get the text of this episode on my website, speakenglishpodcast.com. Okay, that's the end of this episode. Have a good week. Happy Easter, everyone! Did you enjoy today's episode? Get the transcript now at speakenglishpodcast.com.